-hmm. Okay, so with this setup, quite very interesting. Three lights and we have some gels introduced in the shot. And you see just the yellow and of course a slit of light that is from the gobo, which is inserted into this projector to hit the model with a light behind. The light that you actually see over here is the model light inside the 8600, which is our flash. And we are going to introduce yet another light from above. So let's see that. So this light is just from a normal speed light, but it does HSS, so something to, you know, um, complement the 8600 with that amount of power output. So with, um, with a blue gel in front of the flash, we are going to create yet another light in contrast. So there's going to be blue hitting the model from the top. So it's going to be in the form of an umbrella. Let's look it up this way. Like an umbrella like this. Okay. All right. So that it doesn't actually interfere with the light from behind. So the backlight is yellow, as you can see, hitting the model from the top of her head to her shoulders, all the way to the collarbone. And the soft light from above, which is going to be the key light, is going to hit her with a blue gel, as I said before. And of course, with our slate of light to also create some bit of contrast to actually bring out her color, her skin tone back because the gels are going to interfere with her skin tone. So it's like really creating something very creative with um, multiple lights, three lights for that matter. So I want you to give me some few poses. So turn a little bit to your right. So as you can see, she turns and where the light is hitting changes, okay? So that's what we're gonna do to diversify the poses and how the light hits our subject. All right, so I want you to manipulate the slit of light, okay? So anywhere that we turn this projector towards, it hits her accordingly. And we can also change the shape or the cast of the light slit into any other um, pattern. We have a lot of patterns, options to choose from for the slate of light. So that's how you can creatively, you know, perform a studio setup. I mean, put together a studio setup and take great images.